Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. Now, if your iPhone is flickering for some reason after updating to the new iOS 18 update, you want to go ahead and follow these steps to quickly fix it. So let's get started. The very first thing you want to go ahead and do is, if you have open apps, simply close all of them out. So simply swipe up, and you should see all of your open apps here. What I like to do is just simply take my finger, and just go through and close all of the apps out, especially after doing a big update like the iOS 18 update. Now, the next thing you want to go ahead and do is this method where you're going to locate the volume up and volume down button in this big side button. So we're going to go ahead and quickly press and release the volume up, quickly press and release the volume down, and then hold on to the side button just like that. Again, I quickly press and release the volume up and then volume down before holding on to the side button. And I'm going to wait until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo reappears before I let go of that side button. And what we're doing is basically shutting down the phone software and then reloading the code. And the reason why you need to do that, it's because when you get a big update with your iPhone, it's generally good to just shut it all down and then reload the code to fix any software related issue that could be causing the screen to flicker like you were seeing. Now, you can do this a few times. If it doesn't work the first time, go ahead and try. Sometimes it takes a few tries to get the hang of this method. Again, it's just volume up, volume down, press and release one after another before holding on to the side button. Now, after you have done that a few times and it's still not working, the next thing to make sure is that your apps are up to date. So after you updated the iOS itself, which is the phone software, all of the apps you have downloaded might also have an update that needs to I'll be updated in order to be compatible with the new version so the screen doesn't flicker when you open them or they're running. So in order to do that, you're going to go ahead and find the App Store. And once you go to the App Store, simply click on your profile. And then if you go down a little bit further here, it's going to show you all the apps that require update. It'll give you a number. As you can see, I need two apps that need to be updated. You can manually click to update each one. So if you're having an issue on a specific app, just update that app. Or you can update all of them so that there's no issues with any apps at all. So you have two different options to do that. And after you have done that and you're still having an issue, then the next thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and to your setting and then go to general and then go down here where it says transfer reset iPhone. Click on reset and you're going to want to do a reset of all settings. Now when you do a reset of all settings, it just resets the settings themselves like Network setting, which is saved Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connected devices, you have to reconnect them. Any custom keyboard dictionary, home screen layout that you have will get reset. Reset of the handwriting styles and any reset of location and privacy settings. Again, this will not delete any of your personal data, just the settings themselves. You need to enter your app ID pass or your password for your phone, and then it will reset the again the settings and your things like Apple Card keys and passes will be removed as well with this. But it's a necessary thing to do, especially if you're experiencing the screen flickering and it doesn't go away. And of course, another thing to always do is wait for the new update. So right now, the official version is 18.0. There are bug, that bug fixes that are going around. Eventually, this should be fixed with the new update. So you're going to want to wait for the update and it does come out, go into your settings. Software update and update will show up here. Now we can't see update because there is no update right now. But as Apple gets feedback from devices that are experiencing this, they will probably push an update to fix it as well. And lastly, even if you updated your phone to the latest version, you're seeing, seeing a significant amount of screen flickering after following all of these steps. It could be that your LCD or the OLED display itself has been defective. In that case, you might have to get a replace and diagnose at the Apple Store, which is going to be a uh, repair itself. But in any case, I hope this video was helpful. If so, please do consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. We'll see you guys next time.